I've been wondering this year how we will do Ash Wednesday with the pandemic. Normally we would put, of course, a black cross of ashes right on someone's forehead. And we always hear those words, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It's just a reminder of our mortality, a reminder that one day we'll be with God in heaven and we need to get ready to turn away from sin and come back to God. And so this year, how are we going to do that? A couple months ago, I was thinking about that and was talking to a couple priests, and I said, you know, I, I remember in Europe when I was there, they actually do ashes a little bit differently. Every year, they actually sprinkle ashes on top of the head. And so I said to these priests, I think we should do that this year, this that way this year. Uh, and then the next week, Pope Francis came out and said, that's not how the whole church is going to do it this year. And so I said to those priests, see, Pope Francis loved my idea. And so that's how we're going to do it. We're actually going to sprinkle ashes this year on top of the head with no direct contact. How is that going to work? I don't know. I've never done that before, but we're going to find out on Ash Wednesday. I think what we'll do is we'll just sprinkle uh, lightly some ashes on top of the head. It'll be very light. I know that people might not want a whole bunch of ashes in their hair or if they're wearing a hat or something, they'll have to take it off. But um, it'll just be a few little ashes on the head. If you want some more ashes, if you want me to cover your bald spot, I could do that. Or if you want me to, uh, if you have some extra sins, I could put some more ashes. But probably we'll just do a, a light sprinkling of ashes on top of everyone's head. So whether you come to one of our Ash Wednesday Masses in the church, or whether you come to the drive through ashes outside, that's what we'll be doing. It's the same thing. Those ashes remind us that we are dust, and unto dust we shall return, that we need to turn back to the Lord with our whole hearts and be faithful to the gospel.